and we're live what is going on everybody welcome to the stream today as we are bringing you some more college hockey action back into hockey east now with an afternoon game between the providence college friars and the northeastern huskies this is going to be a fun game as both teams are ranked in the top 20 uh, providence college is hanging on to a top 20 spot at night number 19 in the rankings and Northeastern, who has only played two games so far this season because of COVID, uh, is ranked number 12, but certainly uh, off to a good start with two wins so far for the Huskies. So this should be a fun game to today. Um, this should be an interesting matchup, to say the least. And uh, I'm really, really excited for it. So um, what's going on, Eddie? What's going on, Vernon? Welcome to the stream, guys. Thanks for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Um, yeah, Trevor Kuntar got drafted to the Bruins back in October. He plays for Boston College, uh, so he is not in this game today. This is Providence and Northeastern, and uh, ho hockey East action here. So, hey, everything hockey, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for stopping in. Appreciate it. We'll get ready for puck drop here. Um, should be a good game. Let's see, Tice Thompson, there he is for Providence College. My sister actually goes to PC. I've got my PC sweatshirt on, PC hat. Uh, I went to, I think, five or six PC games last year. Um, Tice Thompson is definitely one of the best players left on the Providence College Friars. And uh, he's a New Jersey Devils draft pick. Um, hey, Red Rubber, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, man. Thanks for stopping in. Really, really appreciate it. Great to have you in the chat, as always. As, uh, we're getting closer and closer to puck drop here. Um, I want to pull up the rosters here because PC's got a pretty different team from what they had uh, last year. Jack Dugan is gone, their best player. Um, so I want to see who's left on PC. PC's only played three games so far, so... Um, Let's see, Luke Johnson's a pretty good sophomore defenseman. David Buns, uh, Ben Miragis, Cam McDonald's. An, uh, all right, there's, there's still Patrick Moynihan, Greg Prince still there. He's a senior this year. Um, Craig Needham, Matt Koopman, Kyle Koopman. Uh, let's see. All right, Jason O'Neill. There's a, Parker Ford still there. Obviously, Tyce Thompson, Michael Callahan still. They're probably their number one defenseman. He's an Arizona draft pick. So Max Crozier, uh, Crozier, another draft pick. Tampa Bay, fourth round pick. Tice Thompson, fourth round pick of the Devils. So uh, a good number of players returning here for PC. Northeastern, I'm going to know less of the players for sure. Um But I know that Jordan Harris is a very, very good defenseman for Northeastern. Um, there we go. Let's pull up their roster as well. Yeah, Jordan Harris, number two, very, very good defenseman. Um, let's see. Looking for other names that I recognize. Man, there's not a lot left on... Uh, Austin Goldstein, number 12. There's not a lot a lot left. Sam Colangelo uh, is, uh, goes to Northeastern. Yeah, not as many names on Northeastern. Neil Shea. Oh, that must be um, the other Shea's younger brother. So Northeastern's got a very, you know, different roster this year. A lot of freshmen, a lot of names I don't really recognize. But PC has some, uh, quite a few returning players. And uh, I should know most of them. So they're doing the anthem now, and then we'll be ready for puck drop. Uh, I have no idea who's going to go number one in the draft um, next year. I have no idea. I really don't know much about prospects until we get close to draft time. 
and and you know start to start to do like draft rankings and stuff like that but right now i i don't even i couldn't even tell you the names of players that are up to be drafted next year i have until they reach the pros i really don't know much about them unless they unless they play in college or a team that i watch but um, you know, most of these college kids go in the third or fourth round, not not first. So, uh, I, I'm I have no idea who's going one overall. Um, Vaughn, what is going on? Welcome to the stream, man. Thanks so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. We're just about ready for puck drop. Let's see who the goalies are. Are they gonna actually? Uh, uh, are they gonna actually have graphics on the screen to tell us who they are? Um, Yes, Connor Murphy is in goal for the Northeastern Huskies, number 31. So he will be minding the net today for Northeastern. And let's see down the other end of the ice who Providence has going, if they want to tell us. Um, who's a Stauber in net? Uh, Jackson Stauber in net for Providence College. Uh, so number 30 in goal for PC. So we'll see how the two goaltenders look tonight or today. It's weird doing an afternoon game. I haven't done an afternoon game in so long. Yo, Implicit, what's going on? Welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. We are just about ready for puck drop here. And we are underway. First period action at the University of Northeastern up in Boston. And uh, Providence College is the road team here. Northeastern is home. And uh, we got the puck back in the northeastern end now. They're looking for a breakout play. Defenseman behind the net plays it down to the corner. Tries going off the wall here and ends up just flipping it out all the way down. PC back to play it. PC, Michael Callahan off glass and quickly out of their zone. That will go to the neutral zone now. I'm doing pretty good, Implicit. Thanks for be, uh, stopping in. How are you? I'm, uh, I'm glad to see you in a stream here. We're down to, we're about 40 mi seconds, 40 minutes, Jesus, 40 seconds into the game here. Puck goes into the northeastern end. PC on the four check. Two guys down low, one lays a hit, but northeastern moves the puck up and out. Through neutral ice now and dumped into the offensive end, northeastern will head off for a line change. That gives PC a chance to get a quick break out here, and they do get it to neutral ice, but then turn it over as northeastern takes it away. PC, though, trying to get it back. Greg Prince after it, not able to, though. Puck now by the red line. PC gets possession and dumps it into the northeastern end. Puck goes to the corner. Northeastern's defenseman back to play it. He does a nice little spin move behind the net and moves the puck out of the zone. PC takes it back, though, at neutral ice. Now both teams are digging for it in front of the northeastern bench. And there's still a stalemate here in the neutral zone as northeastern finally gets it into the PC end. But PC gets possession. They ice the puck as that long stretch pass does not break all the or does not connect on the way through. Goes all the way down behind the northeastern goal, and that's going to be an obvious icing there. And it will come back down to the PC end here for a face-off with 1827 remaining in the first. Hey, Alex, what is going on? Thank you. Uh, every, thanks for being here. Everything hockey, thank you. I appreciate that. We've got an offensive zone faceoff here. One by Northeastern. Shot and Stauber makes the save there. Pucks behind the net. PC looking for a breakout. Northeastern keeps it in at the blue line. Nice job there by the defenseman. Sent down low. Pucks now in the corner. Northeastern with some offensive zone time here. The first sustained pressure of this game for either side. PC trying to wrestle the puck away. Northeastern comes away with it though. Back to the blue line. Kept in there and sent back down low. Kept in again by Northeastern as PC is looking for a breakout opportunity. Pass into the middle. Oh, huge save by Stauber. Beautiful pass into the slot there. PC's D was caught sleeping. And Stauber comes up with a huge stop for the Friars. He plays it behind the net now. Northeastern sends it right back in, but PC gets it out. Pucks in the neutral zone. They're going to look for some possession here. Just back to the D here. They'll regroup at the blue line. Just about almost three minutes into this first period. Still 0-0 here as we are underway in, at Northeastern University. Uh, hey, HTH, bro. What's going on, man? Thanks so much for stopping in. Really, really appreciate it. Thrown in there, and that one just goes wide of the net. Northeastern pouring on the pressure here. They have certainly been the better team the first few minutes of this game. 
Puck's on the half wall now. Dow down, down low in the corner. Ref gets out of the way. Pass back into the middle. Goes through everybody. Man at the point has it. Long shot deflected. And the rebound scores. Northeastern with the first goal of the game. Not even four minutes in. PC completely hemmed in their own zone. They can't get it out. And the defense finally collapses. Staubers makes a save on the first one, but the rebound chance goes right back out in front, and that is an easy put-away rebound goal there on the back door. It actually deflected off a skate before it got to uh, Stauber, and there's no chance of him getting to the back post fast enough, and that is a 1-0 lead for Northeastern here. Already back underway as the Huskies take it out of their zone and over the red line. Dumped in now to the offensive end again. Stauber has to play it and just covers it up. And that's going to be another offensive zone faceoff coming up for the Huskies. And they are pouring on the pressure here early against Providence. Already scoring three and a half minutes into this game. And uh, man, that... That was a big-time goal there for the Huskies to get an early lead in this game. PC with it up and out of their zone. Dumped into the offensive end. And PC's not able to keep it in as that one comes out and then gets blasted back in by the PC defenseman. But the play is off sides and it gets whistled down here. We'll have a neutral zone faceoff coming up. 16.07 remaining in the first period. It's 1-0 Northeastern. PC hemmed in their own zone for much of this game so far. They have got to get something going. Offsides again here as PC tries to enter the zone. There's another stoppage and another quick off uh, neutral zone faceoff coming up. Northeastern wins the, open, the draw back here. Trying to break out of their zone here. Takes a hit to move the puck. that They're able to get it down the ice. Into the offensive end now. It goes behind the Providence net. In on the forecheck. Come, hard come the Huskies. PC looking for a breakout. So far, they're not able to get it. They'll try again on the other side, but they have to go back behind their own net again. Hey, Livin' La Barbara, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thanks so much for stopping in. Thrown in here. Greg Prince with a long shot. That one gets easily gloved uh, in the northeastern goal there. I literally don't even remember who's I know it's number 31 who's playing in goal for northeastern because he hasn't had to do anything yet. Uh, Connor Murphy. Yeah, Connor Murphy with the easy save there. Um, that was the first time I think he's touched the puck in this game. But offensive zone draw here finally for the Friars. Yoder in to take it. We'll see if they can get anything going offensively here. One back. Wings come in to play it, though, and Northeastern comes away with it. Huskies out of their zone and back to neutral ice. PC has to dump it right back in now. They go hard on the forecheck. Defenseman for the Huskies goes behind the net and goes off glass trying to get it out. And they're able to clear it back to the red line. Here's Mirages for PC. He throws it back in. Offensive zone now time for Providence, but they can't gain clean possession. We're about five minutes into the first period, and Northeastern goes off glass and out. They're holding on to a 1-0 lead, trying to keep the puck in the offensive zone. They do. And on the four check now, they're able to steal it. Pass out into the middle, but good job getting back on the back check there by the Providence forwards. PC exits their zone now over the red line. Dumped in, and they go for a line change. Murphy lets that one go wide. Northeastern plays it behind their own net. Over, Move it up ice now into the offensive zone. PC behind their net looking for a breakout play. Pass up. They're able to clear it. Here they come now into the offensive end. Michael Callahan jumping into the play. Chance there. Murphy with the save, and he stops the rebound as well. Two big stops there from Connor Murphy uh, to keep this game 1-0. And that was a heck of an opportunity. Easily the best of the game for Providence.
Northeastern's finally able to clear it out to neutralize. PC will bring it right back in, though. It's a get back on side. Alex, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Long shot from the point. Deflected on the way through. Murphy keeps it out. Puck's behind the net now. Both teams looking for it. Northeastern gets to it first. PC coming in hard on the four check, but Northeastern's D gets around him. Now they move it up and into the Providence end. Thrown in here. They're trying to get set up, but PC does a good job getting back and takes it away. Over the red line now come the Friars as they dump it into the offensive zone. They go hard on the attack here. Behind the net with the puck in the corner. Nice job defensively there by Northeastern, knocking them off the puck and taking it away. They dump it into the other end now. They'll get fresh legs on the ice. Big hit behind the net as Northeastern lays a crunch, but PC is able to move the puck right before taking that hit, and they get it up and out of the zone. Hey, Mark, what is going on? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you uh, thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Thrown in here, dumped down. No icing on the play as Northeastern goes in on the forecheck here. PC, slick play behind the net. Hey, Mr. McDonald's, what's going on? Perlo, what's going on? Welcome to the stream, guys. Thank you all so much for being here. We got a 1-0 Northeastern lead early in this one. PC setting up in the offensive end, though. Back to the point. Long shot blocked on the way through. Chance again from the other side. Gets blocked in front. PC still with possession, though. They send it back down low. Looking to make a play with it behind the net. Puck's in the corner now. Back behind the net as they looking for a passing lead into the middle. Chance into the high slot. Fans on the shot. Back to the point. Long shot deflected just to the side. Kept in again by Providence. They're starting to get some offensive zone pressure. The first five minutes of this game was all Northeastern, but PC over the last few minutes have really started to answer back. See if they can get a goal of their own here as they bring it into the offensive end, but Northeastern quickly is able to get it out. Oh, Aiden, what's going on, man? Thank you uh, for stopping in. So uh, I see that you, you got a new channel name, but welcome, Aiden. Appreciate you being here. We've got Northeastern now. Trying to keep the puck in the Providence end. They're on the four check. PC's looking to get it out. Not going to get to that one first. Down low in the corner. Now PC takes it away. Good defensive play there. And they're up ice. Into the offensive end. Down into the corner now and around the net. Looking for a passing play into a dangerous area. Just goes off the boards and that gets stolen by Northeastern. They bring it up ice two on two now. Ticking down towards the halfway point of this first period. Hey, Mark, thank you very much. That is greatly, greatly appreciated. So we got a stoppage here as Stauber makes a save for PC, and we have an offensive zone faceoff coming up for Northeastern. When we come back from commercial break, our first commercial break of the game, 11-13 remaining in the first period. It is 1-0 Northeastern over Providence College as these two top 20 Hockey East rivals clash. So, we're here at commercial break, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching. Really, really appreciate each and every one of you being here. Please remember to hit that like button. That helps out so much in getting the video seen uh, and, and moved higher in YouTube's algorithm. And also, if you happen to be new and would like to subscribe, it would certainly be greatly appreciated as we're covering some college hockey here today, this afternoon, as we're waiting for the NHL to return, which seems closer and closer and closer that the NHL will be coming back January 13th. We've just got to wait on the vote here from the players and the uh, NHL Board of Governors, but it seems just about ready to happen to get NHL back mid-January, which obviously I am super, super excited about. Um, but, but while we wait for the NHL to return, college hockey is going on at full force right now across the country. Um, Hockey East, Big Ten, NCHC, all the big hockey conferences are, are, uh, are playing, with the exception of Ivy League, who decided not to play this season. But uh, the other big conferences are all playing. So really, really excited for some college hockey action. And uh, CL, Salty, what is going on, guys? Uh, welcome, to, uh, welcome to the stream. Thank you guys so much for being here. So we're coming back from commercial break. Appreciate each and every one of you for being in the chat and watching as we are back underway here. Oh, God. Sorry, I just hit something. That was dumb. Um, and we got a quick whistle here again and another uh, face-off coming up in the offensive end for Northeastern.
Northeastern with it now, thrown in deep. Pucks in the corner, now to the half wall, back to the blue line. Back down behind the net now, Northeastern looking to pour on some pressure here. They already have the first goal of the game. PC looking for a breakout opportunity. Pass into the middle. Greg Prince with it, and he gets it out. Pucks in neutral ice now, dumped in there by the Friars. Friars in on the forecheck going after it. And we got a penalty call here. Uh, looks like we've got an early penalty call here. I guess it's not really that early anymore. We're about halfway through the first, but... Uh, the first penalty of the game is going to go to Providence College, it appears. And I'm not exactly sure if it's what the... No, no. What is, oh, it, the, never mind. The puck was played with a high stick. My apologies. A little rusty here without doing NHL games every day. <laughs> yeah, the, I saw the ref with his hands up and, and doing the high sticking signal, but it wasn't a penalty. The puck was played with a high stick. Um, and that just led to a face-off here. And then another quick face-off coming up right outside of the uh, northeastern zone in the neutral zone. Uh, I like the playoff format. Um, I have top four teams from each division. It just win your, you know, go out and be the best in your division. And if you're good in your division, uh, you get in. That's how it works in the AHL. The AHL takes just the top four teams from each from each division, and that's how they play it. So um, that that's uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. I did not want 24 teams again. Um, there's, there's no reason for that more than half the league. Um, you know, that, that 20, you can't have 24 out of 31 teams making the playoffs. That's just ridiculous. Um, it, 16 should be the maximum for playoffs last year. I was fine with it because of the circumstances and we never got to finish the actual regular season, but in an, in a normal year, it should be 16 teams, not 24. And I'm very glad it's not 24. Um, and yes, there are drafted players playing CL. Most of them are like mid, third, fourth, fifth round picks. There's not a lot of high draft picks on these two teams. As Northeastern almost scores again. What a drive to the net, but Stauber keeps it out with a little help from his defense. But there are drafted players in this game. Um, we got a chance here again for Northeastern as that shot just goes wide of the post. Under 10 minutes now remaining in the first period. Northeastern pouring on the attack again here in the offensive zone. O'Neal trying to get it out for a PC, not able to. Long shot there. That one goes wide from, of Stauber again. I mean... I, I just I'm perfectly fine with the with the playoff format. I that's how it works in the AHL. Um, so that that um, with this setup with no real conferences, so to say, um, then I'm perfectly fine with it because that's how it works in the in the AHL is they just take the top four teams from each each division and they those guys make the playoffs. So that uh, I mean that's what I thought they were going to do and that's what they've ended up doing. Sharks probably would not have made even the 2014 playoff. The Kings are better than the Sharks at this point, I think. The Kings will probably finish higher in the standings than the Sharks will this year. Long shot there. Chance uh, pouring on. A, does it go in? It does. It finally goes in. The Providence College Friars on a net front drive there have put in a rebound opportunity, and we've got ourselves a tie game. <laughs> And it is 1-1 as PC ties it up. It was a long shot on goal. It was just kind of sitting around there in front. And it ends up, the rebound chance ends up going right to the back post. Going right to the back post. And PC puts it home to tie this game at 1. So here we are with 8.15 left in the first. We have a 1-1 hockey game here at Northeastern. PC 1, Northeastern 1. And we have a heck of a game going here between these two teams. No, I, I I want seven round series for all all rounds of the playoffs. Seven game or seven game series for all rounds. I f five. If it's fine if you're, it's like minor league and stuff, but if it's the NHL, I think every series should be best of seven. Um, and there's there's nothing better than a game seven. Uh, it, it's just seven. Seven is like the perfect number for a playoff series. Long enough for the teams to absolutely hate each other by the end. But 
you know, it's, you know, not something, something that you can do and you can get done in two weeks. Uh, I, I'm a, I'm a big proponent of always having seven game series. Um, will Detroit finish last or will Chicago in that division? I don't know, Salty. That's going to be a tough one, I think, because Chicago just has absolutely no goaltending. Like, at no NHL-level goaltending. Malcolm Subban and Connor D'Elia are both guys that are barely NHLers. They're guys that are probably better off in the AHL as a third goalie or, or an NHL third goalie. And and those one of like those are going to be your two guys that play for Chicago. So their goaltending is going to be atrocious. But Detroit, like they're going to be better than they were last year. But they're still like they're still not even close. So I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see who does finish last. Um, but I think it's going to be close. I don't think there's going to be like a run away. Like, I, I don't think one of those teams is going to be significantly worse than the other. Like, Detroit was just so bad last year, no one was even remotely near them. I don't think it's going to be like that again this year. I think Detroit's improved enough to where they're, you know, there's at least going to be a fight for last place. All right, we are back from a quick commercial break here. Yeah, Chicago's got better offense than Detroit, but Chicago's def uh, goaltending is is atrocious. And Detroit, with Grice and Bernier, actually have decent goaltending now. So, um, I mean, Bernier was phenomenal last season with a terrible team in front of him. And now they add Grice. Like, D Detroit's goaltending is going to be actually good. They just don't have, you know, their, their defensemen aren't ready yet, and they don't have a lot of offensive firepower outside of, like, Larkin and Mantha. But um, it, it's going to be tight. It's going to be tight because goaltending is more important in the NHL. Goal, goaltending is goaltending is the number one thing and what makes a team successful or not in, in hockey. So if, if you have bad goaltending, you're, you're in trouble. Zash shot for Northeastern to flex up and out of play, and we'll have another whistle here. 1-1 one, one game, 7-16 remaining in the first. Offensive zone draw coming up again here for the Huskies as Tice Thompson with a nice shot block there to flex that one up and out of play before it can ever get through. One back here by Northeastern. Walking it at the point. Pat into the high slot here. Long shot. Just wide. Glove side on Stauber. Both teams look fighting for excuse me, fighting for it in the corner here. Greg Prince comes away with it for the Friars. He crosses the red line now. Pass up into the offensive zone. Northeastern able to take it away though, and they clear. They dump it into the PCN now and get hard in on the four check. 6.45 remaining in the first period. PC, sloppy play in their own end, but they're able to make up for it with a good play there, and they get it up and out by Parker Ford. Northeastern takes possession back. Stretch pass over the blue line now into the offensive end. They get it quickly on the counterattack. Yes, uh, Adam Gaudet went to Northeastern. He was an extremely good player at Northeastern, and he now plays for the Vancouver Canucks. Uh, who will finish last in the NHL this season? Uh, I'm thinking the three or four, four uh, their goaltending might be too good. Um, I'm thinking the Ducks are in the hunt for dead last. I'm thinking Detroit again. I'm thinking Chicago. And um, I feel like Ottawa might be slightly too good. That shot just goes wide. I think New Jersey might be, they might have just too good of goaltending with Crawford and Blackwood to finish dead last. My, my thoughts right now are, are either Chicago, Anaheim, or um, Detroit to finish last in the league. Cleared out there by PC. Northeastern has to get it back again in the, in the neutral zone and bring it back into the offensive end. Puck's behind the net now. Good hit behind the net. PC comes away with it. Up and out over the blue line now and into the offensive zone. Hard on the four check here. Mm -hmm. 
Northeastern comes away with it in their own zone and they dump it in. All right, Mark, sounds good. Thank you so much. Really, really appreciate all the support, man. And uh, definitely sounds, sounds great. And uh, Salty, I think Ty Smith might have to. I mean, we'll see how he looks in training camp and stuff, I, and they might give him a shot at the beginning of the season. Um, but with New Jersey's defense and the condition that it's in, um, he has a very real shot if he plays well to uh, to definitely get a, a, a top six spot on that team and play a regular shift for the Devils because their defense is so bad. They might really need him to step up this season. 420 now left. Northeastern deflects that one up and out all the way down to the far end here. Back after is Callahan. Callahan trying to play it out. Turns it over, though. That was not a good play. Luckily gets some help from his back-checking forwards, and they're able to clear. 405 left in the first. Northeastern in their own zone looking for a breakout. They get it up to neutralize quickly. Here they come now trying to get it into the offensive zone. They turn back now just looking for a possession play, and they'll regroup in their own end. <clears throat> Taken away there at neutral ice, Providence College. And now we get a stoppage here, and what do we have? Is that a penalty call or just going to the bench here? It looks like they're just going to the bench. So um, stoppage of play there, neutral zone, 347 remaining in the first, and we head to our final commercial break of this first period here between Northeastern and PC. And look at us right now. We have a 1-1 hockey game. It's been a good, solid game for both teams so far. Can't wait to see what happens the rest of the way as these two top 20 schools go at it here on a Saturday afternoon. They will play again tomorrow uh, for the second game of this weekend series. I will not be live tomorrow. Um, I'll be uh, most likely at my friend's house watching football. But um, these two teams do play again tomorrow. But uh, we're here at commercial break. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, great to have you here this afternoon. Uh, will Stan Bowman get fired from GM but instead get promoted to... No, no he's already been promoted to president of hockey operations. Um, Chicago just named a new CEO. If Stan Bowman gets fired, he's getting fired altogether or he's not getting fired. I don't see them... Um, uh, he, he's already been promoted pretty much as high as he can go. So if they fire him at this point, it's going to be it's gonna be uh, a full-on firing, and he's, he's just going to be gone. As... Oh, oh, they're showing a highlight from last year. I just saw a Northeastern goal, and I was like, did I just miss? Like, we were still at commercial break. Did I just miss something? But they're showing highlights from last season's game between these two teams, or one of last season's games between these two teams. So, neutral zone faceoff here. Linesman in to drop it. We've got 3:46 remaining in the first period. It's 1-1 here. PC wins that faceoff back, and now they get into the offensive zone. Dumped in behind the net. Hard after it here. PC on the forecheck. Northeastern looking for a breakout. They go off the boards and get it out. Sent all the way down. No icing on the play. Back playing it now. PC in their own zone. Trying to keep it in. Northeastern. And they do. Back to the point here. Long shot. That one gets blocked on the way through. Solid shot block there for the defense. Yes. Northeastern plays in the bean pot along with Harvard, Boston University, and Boston College. 310 remaining now in the first. Still in the offensive zone. Deflected in front. Blocked on the way through. Coming away with it now. Providence. They're going to look for a breakout pass here. They get it. Up over the blue line. Over the red line and dumped into the offensive end. They'll get fresh legs on the ice. Northeastern will go back to regroup in their own zone. Tice Thompson, the only four checker. The first one off the bench. Thrown in here by the Huskies deep. Now they go in on a four check of their own. Trying to take it away. And they do. Stolen behind the net here. Providence with a bad defensive zone turnover, but great defense there, and they're able to get it back. See if they can get it out. They have the puck down in their own corner. Pass into the middle. Good play there. Pass up now to the red line. Over the red and into the offensive zone. It's thrown in. Puck's behind the net. Both teams after it. Northeastern comes away with it for now.
Thrown in here by the Huskies. Friars back after it. They try to get that. Get the clearing attempt gets deflected. PC comes away with it, though, and they're able to clear it out. Here comes Parker Ford into the offensive zone. Trying to cut to the net. Great defense there. He gets knocked off the puck. Now back to the point. PC keeps it in the offensive zone. Michael Callahan with a long shot that goes wide. Behind the net now. Good pass back. Chance! And a big time. I, oh, the PC player's stick snaps in half as he's taking that shot. And that gives Northeastern a chance to clear all the way down. What a missed opportunity, but not the player's fault as his stick just snaps in half as he rips that uh, slap shot. Off of Murphy's glove there to the far corner. And now we got a stoppage in play with 126 remaining. And still a 1-1 game between Northeastern and Providence College. Late stages of the first period. Uh, who makes the playoffs in the Canadian division? Uh, that's going to be interesting. Um, I'm going to say Vancouver, yes. Edmonton, yes. Toronto, yes. And then I think that fourth spot is going to come down to... Um, either Calgary or Montreal. And I think Calgary and Montreal are going to have to fight for that fourth spot. And um, one of those teams is going to get left on the outside looking in, along with, obviously, Ottawa, who's probably going to finish last, and Winnipeg, who I don't think is, is good enough to be, finish ahead of those other Canadian teams. But I would say, like, Vancouver, um, Edmonton, and Toronto should be, like, pretty much guaranteed playoff teams. Um, Winnipeg is not really there. Um, their defense is atrocious. They have Josh Morrissey, and that's it on defense. Um, and uh, they're also they also don't have a backup goaltender, and you can't play your starting goaltender back to back every single night, because um, that's a good way to end up with them burnt out before the season's even half over. So Winnipeg's not going to make it. Um, Ottawa's definitely not going to make it. Um, Lowry's not a defenseman. Lowry is a forward. He plays center. And um, Win Winnipeg wasn't a playoff team last year. They The only reason they got in was because of the 24-team format, and they're not any better this year. So um, I don't see them making it. And I, either Calgary or Montreal is going to be on the outside looking in, but one of those teams will get in. I'm honestly leaning towards Montreal. I think it's going to be Vancouver, Edmonton, um, Toronto and Montreal that get in for the four teams from the Canadian division. Hey, William, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thanks for watching. Appreciate it. We're down to the final 30 seconds here. Uh, PC is actually on the power play here. Didn't even, I'm not even sure what the call was. I spent too much time in the chat, but um, we got 20 seconds here left in the period. Still a minute of power play time. If PC doesn't score, that will carry over into the second period. Uh, that one gets dumped in here again by Northeastern on the penalty kill, and that's just about going to do it for this period. Sent all the way down. That's a really dumb icing with three seconds left on the in the period by Providence there. So now Northeastern gets an offensive zone faceoff here, shorthanded with three seconds left, where they can just kind of, you know, if they can win this draw cleanly, get one final shot. There is 46 seconds left in power play time. And those uh, those 43 seconds will carry over into the second period if, uh, well, PC's not going to score. So they'll carry over into the second period. Uh, yeah, if, if Winnipeg gets a top 10 pick, they're definitely going to be looking to, um, to draft a defenseman for sure. Uh, uh, the Magic Man, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Uh, the Metro is going to be an absolute dogfight. Um, some very good teams are going to get left outside of that playoff spot because only four teams get in, and that 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 division is absolutely loaded. So the Metro outlook is is going to be that's going to be a dogfight all season long between six or seven teams trying to get into the playoffs there, and only four of them will. So there's going to be some very good teams left on the outside looking in there. Um, Vaughn thinks the Flames get in. Then if the Flames get in, either then, you know, somebody, Montreal's not then. Um, or Edmonton or so, somebody's going to have to miss for the Flames to get in in that Canadian division. So we're at the end of the first period here, guys. It's 1-1 Providence College versus Northeastern. 
Northeastern scored the first goal of the game. PC answered later in the period, and PC heads into the uh, heads into the second period with 43 seconds of power play time remaining to start the period. So, um, really appreciate all of you guys watching. THG, what is going on? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for being here. Remember to hit that thumbs up, guys. Subscribe if you are new. Both of those things help out so much. And we've uh, got two more great periods of college hockey action coming your way after this intermission here. But we've got some time to kill here at intermission. So obviously we do that in the chat. Uh, yeah, I do not see the Penguins making the playoffs this year. I mean, you look at who's in that that Metro uh, division and they're, they're just, I see team after team after team that's better than Pittsburgh. So I, I really, uh, I don't see them getting in this season. Uh, no, I do not think the Capitals win the Metro Division this year. Um, their the Caps are looking like a third or fourth place team, in my opinion. Um, I, I don't see them winning that division again. I think. Um, well, let's let's take a look here. Let's. I, I want to take a look here at this Metro. Let me find Pierre LeBron because. Okay, so we're looking at a division here with Boston, Buffalo, New Jersey, New York, New York, Philadelphia, Pittsburgh, and Washington. Okay, so both New York teams I certainly see as playoff teams. Um, I certainly see both New York teams making the playoffs. Philadelphia, I think, is the best team in that division. And then it's probably going to come down to Boston or Washington for that fourth spot. And then I would say Pittsburgh misses, New Jersey misses, and Buffalo misses. And then either Boston, Washington, or one of the New York teams misses. I would say, I, I would see, um, you know, maybe the Islanders end up missing. Maybe the Bruins end up missing. Maybe the Capitals end up missing. The Rangers are going to have, uh, no, the Rangers are the best young and up and coming. Like the, the Rangers are going to break out into superstar mode. Um, Igor Shosturkin will be winning Vesna trophies within the next probably three years. Um, the, the Rangers are absolutely loaded. No, that's not a hot take. Like the Rangers are absolutely loaded. They have the best young core in the league. Um, I mean, you've got Panarin and Zabinijad who are both MVP level players, and then you have, then you have Lafreniere going there. You've got Kako, Ka or Capo Kako in his second year. You've got Chris Kreider, who's a always a tw like twenty five goals a year guy. You've got Buchnevich still there. You've got Ryan Strom, who absolutely lit it up last year. D'Angelo lit it up last year. Trube has got to have a better year on the back end, but Adam Fox is just as good of a young defenseman as the other as any other top young D man in the league. Adam Fox is right there with um their, their defense is not really bad. Adam Fox is right there with Quinn Hughes and, and Kale McCarr as one of the top young defensemen in the NHL. Uh, Ryan Lindgren's incredibly good defensively. Um, yeah, they're, they're loaded. They're absolutely loaded. Uh, the The Rangers will be. The Rangers have a. The Rangers have a dynasty in the making if they can keep it together. If they can keep it together, they have a dynasty. In the in the in their making in the making there they're gonna be nasty. Buffalo still has no goaltending. New Jersey's gonna stink. Um, Pittsburgh uh, they they're falling apart. They're a declining team fast. The rest of those teams all have a real shot at the postseason. Some somebody who's really really good is gonna get left out when it comes to that Metro division. Somebody who's really really good is gonna get left out.
The other divisions kind of stink, honestly. Like, there, there's so many. Like, when you look at that central division, Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay is going to destroy that most of that division. Carolina's good. Dallas is, I mean, Dallas got really hot in the postseason, but I don't know if they can repeat that. Columbus is really good defensively, but lacking a lot of offense. I mean, Florida's very eh. Detroit stinks. Chicago stinks. Nashville's very eh. That central division, I mean, Tampa Bay and Carolina, I think, are going to dominate that division. And then when you look out west, I mean, you've got the three California teams, who none of which are good right now, so you can throw them to the bottom. Um, then you've got Colorado, St. Louis, Vegas, and Minnesota. So those are probably your four playoff teams with the three California teams missing and Arizona missing. Um, our, man, Arizona stinks again. They, they, they're, they've got no offense whatsoever. They lost Hall. They have no replacement for Hall. Um, they, they, they like might score one goal a game. Arizona might score one goal a game this year and have the worst offense in the league. Um, Colorado should destroy that division. Honestly, Colorado should run away with that Western division, and it shouldn't even be close. Hey, Pittsburgh fan, what's going on? Sasha, what's going on? Welcome to the stream as well. Thanks for being here. Uh, I have no idea what Char is doing, but I hope he doesn't come back to Boston. Um, he's old, slow, and not worthy of being on the ice at this point. Uh, do I think Hank retires? Unfortunately, most likely, um, most likely, uh, Hank is going to end up having to retire, I think. Um, yeah, and Arizona doesn't have a first round pick because they, they were cheating at the combine. And, uh, that, that organization is just an absolute dumpster fire. Yeah, the, the Metro division I like a lot. It's going to be really competitive. The Canadian division is going to be extremely competitive as well. But um, the other two divisions I, I don't think are going to be nearly as good. Tampa Bay and Carolina should dominate the Central, and Colorado should run away with that Western division. Vegas and St. Louis are still decent teams. Um are still decent teams. Like, they'll certainly be playoff teams, but I think Colorado's just so much better. And L.A. could end up finishing ahead of Minnesota and steal that last that last playoff spot. That could potentially happen depending on how the young players for the Kings play. Yeah, honestly, move Arizona back to... Move Arizona to Canada. I don't know what... That organization is just an absolute disaster. I think they're going to they're going to end up in Houston, um, Salty. I agree with you on that. I think Houston is the next city to get an NHL team, and I I think um, you're probably going to see the Coyotes end up in Houston. Um, Magic Man, they uh, they were illegally testing like doing physical tests on players like before they were allowed to or something like that but they got they got a bunch of draft picks taken away and they got a huge fine um and yeah a arizona is just absolutely in shambles and absolutely in shambles right now yeah on it with, with all of the with, salty with all the young talent in uh in L.A., they do have a shot to make the playoffs this year, especially in that division. They've got a lot of young talent there. It looks like a lot of their uh, a lot of their their recent draft picks are, are going to be NHL ready this season, or at least get a shot at the NHL this season. And they could um, they could uh, they could make some serious noise as a surprise team this year. Hey Vegas, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for stopping in. Really, really appreciate it. Um, uh, yes, Pittsburgh fan. That's, that's what I do. That's what this channel is. Of course. But we are at, <coughs> excuse me, we are at intermission here. Um, First period has come to an end. We've got a 1-1 game here between PC and Northeastern. 
I'm changing the scoreboard to second now before I forget. And uh, we it's been a really good game so far. I can't wait to see how the rest of this one goes. It's been tight. Northeastern scored the first goal of the game early in that first period. Um, Providence answered later in the period, and it's been tied ever since. So this is going to be a... Uh, it's going to be a really fun game the rest of the way. Uh, Salty thinks Minnesota misses because of goaltending. I mean, Minnesota is going to be like one of those bubble teams right on that line of making it uh, or not for sure. It's going to be tight. With uh, I feel like that fourth spot in that division is kind of up for grabs, but there there's a number of different teams that they could um, – there's a number of different teams that, that could make it there. But uh, Minnesota's in the mix. LA's in the mix. Uh, maybe San Jose, if they have a really like significantly better season than what they did last year, maybe they could snag that final spot. Um, it's going to be interesting to see. The other thing is with a 56-game season, um, streaks are going to be very, very important. Like If you have a bad couple weeks, in an 82 game season, it's really, you know, you can easily overcome that. But in a shortened season, that's only 56 games. If you have a bad couple of weeks, your season could be like, that's a huge hit. And you could put yourself in a deep hole just based on a bad couple of weeks. Um, w you know, with, with, with so few games this year. And the same thing goes the other way. If you're a team that's not supposed to be good, if you're a team that's not supposed to be good, but you get really hot and rip off you like seven or eight wins out of a 10 game stretch, all of a sudden you've padded a point lead there where you're in a playoff spot when you're not supposed to be. And that would be knocking a team out that was supposed to be. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens with the shortened season. I think there's a chance we could see some, some real surprises this year. And some teams that were not supposed to be good end up being a lot better than they were supposed to. And some teams that we thought were guaranteed playoff teams just end up falling falling over and falling flat on their faces and having a bad year. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of back-to-back -back games, Salty. Yeah, there, there's going to be weeks where teams are playing five out, five games in seven in seven days. Like there will with this condensed schedule, there will probably be weeks where a team plays five games in seven days. They'll play like Sunday, Monday, have Tuesday off, play on Wednesday, have Thursday off, and then play Friday, Saturday again. And then obviously not do the same thing the next week because that'd be four games in a row. But for that one week. They're, they're, they'll have five games in that one week. Like they, The schedule is going to be super condensed, and that's why having two goaltenders is important and why teams teams like Winnipeg that don't have an, an actual good backup goaltender are in trouble because you can't play you can't play Connor Hellebuck, you know, back to back, then on Wednesday and then back to back again. Like it's just you can't do it. Like you have to have two goaltenders in a condensed season. So teams like Columbus, who have Merz Lickens and uh Corpusalo, teams like Boston who have Halak and Rask, teams like um there's another big tandem team. Trying to think of like the, the goalie Tams. Teams like Vancouver that have Demko and Holtby now. Those teams, those teams are gonna be in really, really good shape, while teams that rely heavily on one goaltender are in trouble. That's why Montreal went out and got Jake Allen. So they finally have a reliable backup to Carey Price who can take some of the weight off of Carey Price. And um, you know, even even to a team like Philadelphia, who obviously plays Carter Hart a lot, but they have Brian Elliott, who's a very good backup goaltender as, you know, as a veteran guy to go along with Hart. So um, they're in decent shape in that. You know, team, you have to have two goaltenders in a 56-game condensed season. Otherwise, you're in trouble. So those teams that rely heavily on one are going to be um, are, are going to be an issue. Yeah, you know, I think for uh abs have um grubauer and francis they should be fine as long as both guys stay healthy
<coughs> All right, anyway, guys, we are back for the start of the second period here. 1-1 one, one game, PC and Northeastern heading into the second, and we are underway. 40 seconds remain on the power play for B PC to start this period. They'll look to try and take their first lead of the game here. Pucks in the neutral zone. Now over the red line. Here comes Parker Ford with it into the offensive end. Puck rolls off his stick. He just sends it down behind the net. PC now on the far side, setting up on the half wall. Tice Thompson looking to make a play. Northeastern trying to get it out here. PC still has it in the offensive zone. Pucks down in the corner. Back to the high slot here. Long shot. Blocker side just goes off glass high of the bar there. Shot in again, and Murphy pads that one to the corner. Both teams after it. Back to five-on-five five hockey. Northeastern has killed off the penalty. Sent down low. Northeastern takes it away. They go off uh, try, uh, just curl back. I thought they were going to go off boards and out of the zone, but they curl back and go D to D. They'll try the far side. Over the red line and now dumped in. PC back after it in their own end. Hey, Cole, what's going on? This game is on Nesson. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you stopping in. And I mean, obviously, Taylor Hall is a great addition offensively for the Sabres, but he gives Jack Eichel some more, some more help. But their defense is still... Um, mediocre at best and their goaltending is a huge question mark Buffalo is still not going to make the playoffs behind the net now PC trying to break out of their own end just almost two minutes into the second period here here comes Providence with a chance breakaway and he gets a shot off and it's a big pad stop there by Connor Murphy in goal hey thank you Pittsburgh fan I appreciate that I thought you already were but if you weren't, um, well, thank you for doing it now. And uh, welcome. Thank you for stopping in and being here. Really appreciate it. Connor Murphy with a save there on the long shot. On the, It, it was a breakaway, but um, they weren't getting in there. He wasn't getting in there cleanly. Northeastern's defense was getting back, so he just rips a shot off there, and Murphy makes the pad save and covers it up. Huskies now trying to break out of their own zone. Thrown in there, but Stauber out to play it. Sends it to the corner. Getting some help from his D here. PC, both teams fighting for it along the wall. PC comes away with it. Just over two minutes into the second period. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Really appreciate it. Yeah, Mark, I agree. I, I agree completely, Mark. I think he just wanted to play with Eichel and pad his stats and put up big numbers and then get a huge contract, uh, a huge long-term deal next year, next offseason. I completely agree that that's probably what Hall's doing because he's not going to win a cup in Buffalo. <laughs> Behind the net, Northeastern. They're able to clear it out. Taken back at neutral ice here. Both teams after it. Hard on the forecheck, and Northeastern comes away with it. Trying to get it to the middle of the ice here. Good job getting back, though, defensively, and Friars, the Friars take it away. Sent all the way down the ISO, and that's icing as that pass does not connect. 16.58 remaining in the second period. We've still got a 1-1 tied game here, and that puck will come all the way back down to the Friars' end as Northeastern gets an offensive zone faceoff after the icing. Thrown in here, PC, shot, and that one gets stopped by Murphy, he covers it up, and we'll have an offensive zone faceoff for the Friars now after that play, and only a few seconds ticked off the clock, 16.44 left in the period. Yeah, Hoffman's definitely going to sign a one-year deal, um, probably not nearly as much money as he was hoping for, um, but then he's going to try and put up, a, you know, another 25 to 30 goal season, and then cash in next off season. With a, with a longer-term deal. I, I think Hoffman and Hall are playing the same game here. As we have an interference call here and a penalty coming up in a power play for 
I, I believe the Friars here are going to go to the power play. It's an interference call on the ice. We'll see who heads to the box. There was also a PC player down. No, they're going to call it, I believe, against PC. Because it, it was definitely, yeah, it was. It was um, Ru Ruika here for Providence College, headed to the box. Northeastern heads to the power play. Then he got hit after making the interference penalty. Okay, so it was interference against Ruika. Then he was down on the ice after getting hit after making that interference penalty or obstruction call there. So um, Ruika to the box for interference. Northeastern to the power play. And a chance here to take retake the lead in this game. Two minutes interference against Providence. And Northeastern heads to the man advantage. They're setting up now in the offensive zone at the faceoff dot. Now back to the high slot, back to the point. Top of the circle, now down low. Back to the point here. Just moving the puck in the offensive zone, looking for a shooting lane or the Huskies. Back to the top of the circle, back to the high point. Back now half wall, back to the point. They're just passing the puck around here. Long shot there, deflected on the way through, and that one goes up and out of play. Great shot block there from Michael Callahan, and that one goes out of play, and we get a whistle with a minute and a half remaining on the man advantage here in an offensive zone faceoff for the Huskies coming up. PC will change their... Uh, players here get some fresh penalty killers on the ice. Face off one back there by the Huskies. They keep it in the offensive zone. Pucks at the high point here. Now top of the circle ha to the half wall. Back to the point. Long shot. Stauber with a big save. Great point shot there that got through making the PC goalie work. That shot gets blocked on another opportunity up and out of play and another good shot block there. And once again, Providence College with the strong penalty kill, getting in the shooting lanes and blocking the shots. 109 left on the power play here. Another offensive zone draw here for the Huskies. That was Prince with the second shot block. Face off one this time by Providence, and they quickly clear all the way down. Their first clear of this penalty kill. And that is going to mean Northeastern has to go all the way back to their own zone and regroup. Under a minute now remaining in man advantage time. Coming now through the neutral zone. Huskies back into the offensive end, looking to get set up with possession. Pucks in the corner. Back to the blue line here. Moving to the middle of the ice. Almost loses off his stick. That was Harris. Top of the circle now. Now back out to the blue line. Cycling it around. Cross ice pass. Pass in the middle. Oh, doesn't get the shot. What a deflection chance in front, but it doesn't get it through on goal. Solid defense there. Keeping that one out for Providence. Another chance into the middle of the ice here. PC tries to clear. Not able to, however. Sent down low. Back out high. Top of the circle. Cuts to the middle. Drop pass to the point. Long shot. That one goes off post and out. What a chance there for Northeastern. Then Stauber covers it up. And now we got a big scrum after the play. Big scrum after the play is Stauber. Finally gets a glove on it after it bounces off the post behind him. And he covers it up. And now the ref is having a long chat with the Northeastern player there. He makes a save. Covers up the rebound. And then... Oh, yeah, he went digging in at the goalie well after uh, he had that puck covered. And PC did not like that. Michael Callahan was immediately in there, along with three other Friars who came right in and started roughing up the Northeastern forward. We'll see if there's any uh, penalties here. But he certainly was digging away at the goaltender there well after the whistle. And Northeastern gets the penalty. So they call... They call the penalty here against Northeastern as Zach Salo heads to the box there for the Huskies for digging at the goaltender after the whistle. 
and he get oh no it's four on four excuse me they showed power play at first it's four on four michael callahan also heads to the box for providence as he was the first friar to jump in and start shoving with uh, solo but uh four on four hockey here for the next two minutes as a couple of penalties result from that scrum there behind the pc net northeastern and they're going to redo that puck drop as Northeastern got the win, but I guess they didn't call it a clean draw. Faceoff now won again by the Huskies. They're in the offensive zone, four-on-four -four action. Poked off the Northeastern stick, though. PC looking to get it out. Not able to cleanly, though. Both teams fighting for it. That one up and out of the zone now. Here come the Friars into the offensive end. Long shot gets blocked off the glass there by Murphy. Murphy sends that one out himself and back to neutral ice. PC regrouping at the red line. Now they bring it back into the offensive zone. Get pucks down in the corner. Still four on four for another minute and 15. Move into the middle there, and that one gets covered by Stauber as it deflects in on him, and that will lead to an offensive zone faceoff for the Huskies here. Uh, I can't watch the World Juniors Pittsburgh because in the U.S. they are only on NHL Network, and I do not have NHL Network as we're going to head to commercial break here. 13.40 remaining in the second period, and uh, still just over a minute remaining in four-on-four -four time. So I can't even watch the World Juniors, so I'm probably going to be following along with other youtubers who are streaming and uh magic man i i love the hockey guy um shannon's a, uh, obviously has a great channel knows a ton about hockey and the nhl and has uh, been a fan for a long time and he is the he is the marquee hockey youtuber for sure so um yeah he, he's he's phenomenal so we are here at commercial break. Still 1-1. One, one. We've got four-on-four four action here. Middle stages of the second period. Great game so far between the Friars and Huskies. Appreciate everyone watching. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Please remember to hit that like button if you haven't and subscribe if you are new. Both of those things do a whole lot to help the channel um, and, and really help more people see these videos as we are back underway here in did they go to commercial when play was still going on? Are you kidding me, Nesson? Because all of a sudden we come back and there's only 30 seconds of four-on-four -four time and Murphy's making a big save there on the rush. So I guess Nesson decided to play a commercial in the middle of the game happening. But anyway, we're down under to 25 seconds left now on the four-on-four. -four. Under 13 minutes to go here in the second period. Back at the blue line. Kept in by the Friars. Long shot goes wide glove side. Bounces off the boards and all the way out. Back out to play it is Ruika. He's, PC's got to regain possession. And now they turn it over in the neutral zone. Here comes Northeastern now into the offensive end. Final seconds of four on four play before both guys are out of the box. And we are now back to full strength. Five each side as um, Callahan and Salo come out of the box. Thrown in there by the Huskies. 12-20 left in the second period now. Still a tie game here at one. Both goals came in the first period. No scoring yet in the second. Cross ice pass there. One time chance and a big save by Stauber as he gets to the far post. Now lead to an offensive zone faceoff coming up here with 12-10 left. And now they're going to go to commercial break again. So I guess this is when Nesson was supposed to go to the commercial break. But they played it a stoppage too early the last time, and we missed game action. So someone at Nesson didn't know what they were doing there. Probably some intern first first day on the job or something. <clears throat> Either way, we're waiting here. This has been a good game. Um, not a lot of like high-flying offense, but neither of these two teams really play that way. Um, and and it's been a it's been a very competitive game. Both teams have had 
stretches where they've kind of held the play and spent a lot of times in the offensive zone. And, and both teams obviously have a goal. Um, no scoring yet in the second period, but we'll see as this one goes along if that can change. But, um, yeah, it, this has been a tightly, con tightly contested game, to say the least. Uh, what was the best PC team? I mean, they won the national championship in 2015. So, I mean, you could probably say that that team was. But um, as far as, like, pure talent goes, you might have to go with the team that uh, from a couple years ago that went to the uh, Frozen Four. Didn't end up winning the championship but made the Frozen Four. That team was loaded with talent as well. So, um I would say either the 2018-19 team or the uh, or the 2015 team that won the national championship for PC. But they've had some really good teams over the last few years. Province College has really become one of the top programs in the country. And uh, they're going through a little bit of a rebuilding stage now. Um, but they're still, you know, at least so far keeping themselves in the top 20 in the nation. Northeastern with it. That one gets dumped in here. PC is able to exit, but only to the blue line. Now they get it in deep. Northeastern has to go back in their own zone and regroup here. Down to 11 minutes remaining in the second period. 11 minutes remaining in the second. Huskies into the offensive zone, trying to get through the D. In behind the net, Harris with it. He's able to maintain possession there. Northeastern setting up now. Pass into the middle. Doesn't get through. Solid defense there from the Friars. Taken or pushed down into the corner, though, by Northeastern, who's heavy on the forecheck. And the Friars will have to try and get it out. Crozier with it. He goes off glass and out there. Dumped in now by PC. They bring it now into the offensive zone. And the Huskies are trying to get it quickly right back out, which they do. Fighting for it in neutral zone now. Uh, that that's uh, that's a very difficult question, THG. As we got an offsides call here, offsides call here against the Friars, which means a neutral zone faceoff coming up with 10:16 remaining in the period. As we were just offsides there at the blue line. Um, Pittsburgh fan, do you mean like for equipment, like for sticks and gloves, skates and? Hockey equipment, you mean favorite brand? And now they're bringing it into the PC zone because the original pass came from their own zone. So Northeastern with an offensive zone draw, shot goes wide. Yeah, my, my favorite equipment brand is Bauer. I use Bauer for as much as I can. Um, they're, they're definitely my favorite. As we reach the halfway point of this game, 10 minutes to go here in the second, and PC is able to clear that one out. Northeastern has to go back and re and, uh, and get it. Thrown back in, but that's going to be icing as it came from well behind the red line. The Huskies ice the puck. 9.46 left in the second. 1-1 one, one game, and PC is getting an offensive zone faceoff here. Ozone faceoff for the Friars, looking to take their first lead of the game. Face off one here. PC with a chance. That one gets poked aside. Pucks in the corner now. Behind the net, trying to get a pass out in front, and that one's turned over. Northeastern's able to clear to neutral zone to the neutral zone. PC brings it right back in, but they weren't able to get out of they weren't able to get out of the offensive zone fast enough. That's offsides. With nine and a half minutes remaining in the second period. We are still 1-1, and we are headed to commercial break. We'll have a neutral zone faceoff coming up right after this commercial. Thank you guys all so much for being here. Brian, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, Pittsburgh fan, I don't play organized hockey anymore, um, but I do play pond hockey with my friends as much as I can in the winter. 
We've got a 1-1 tie here between PC and Northeastern. Some Saturday afternoon Hockey East action. The number 19 team in the country, Providence Friars, versus the number 12 team in the country, the Northeastern Huskies. And it has been a very good game so far. And I'm sure the second half is going to be just as tight as the first as these teams have played a very competitive, tight-checking game to this point. Appreciate everyone watching. Thank you guys so much for being here. Uh, obviously, we're, while we wait for the NHL to return, we're covering college hockey as much as we can. Please remember to subscribe and hit that like button if you haven't yet. Both of those things help out so much and are greatly, greatly appreciated in helping to grow the community here in the channel. Um, this game is on Nesson, Brian, if you live in New England. If, it, if you're not from New England, I'm not sure if you're able to see it. There might be like an online stream of it on like, um, you, I'm not sure. Sometimes they stream college hockey games on Reddit and stuff. Um, so I'm not sure on that. But if you do live in the New England area, um, Nesson has this game covered today. So we are back from commercial break now. Waiting for the neutral zone faceoff. PC wins it back. D to D pass here as they look to break out back through the neutral zone. Into the offensive end. Parker Ford hard on the four check here. Good hit behind the net. Reinforcements come and help. In chance. Deflected in and Connor Murphy makes it makes the save there for Northeastern. PC starting to bring the physical game. Hey Logan, what is going on? Not a problem, man. Thanks for stopping in. Really appreciate it. Stauber makes an easy short side save there. He gets a Stoppage with 9.04 left in the second and offensive zone faceoff for the Huskies coming up. Logan, welcome, man. Thank you so much for stopping in. Really, really appreciate it. And Northeastern's going to get another offensive zone faceoff chance here. They win it back. See who gets to it first. Pucks back down in the corner, but it looks like PC has a chance to break out. Now hard four check from the Huskies keeps it in. Kept in there at the point. And that one deflects up and out of play. Faceoff will stay in the offensive zone as it goes off a of Providence stick. Face off one back here by the Friars. They go off the boards and out of the zone all the way down. Might be icing if it reaches. No, icing is waved off. PC on the four check. Not able to get to it first, though. Gloved down by Crozier at the red line. Dumped in again there by PC. They might have to tag up to get on sides. They do. Pucks now in the corner. Both teams going after it. We'll see who's able to come away with possession. Hey, TTC, what is going on? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for being here. PC keeps it in the offensive zone there. Pucks down in the corner. Um, Brian, they have a tentative deal in place uh, for the NHL to return January 13th, but the players and uh, board of governors still have to vote on it. So it's not official official until... Uh, until it's voted on and agreed to, but there is a, t a potential deal in place that they're just waiting to vote on right now. As Northeastern gets that one out into the offensive end now, here they come looking to get some offense going. Chance there, and that puck just deflects wide of the net. Cleared by the Friars. Huskies take it back at neutral ice. Welcome, TTC. Happy to see you in the chat, man. Thank you so much for stopping in. Friars with it now. Over, out of their zone, into the neutral zone. Now into the offensive end. Parker Ford cuts to the middle, gets a shot that goes wide. Murphy just covers it up on the carom off the boards. And that's going to lead to a Friars offensive zone faceoff here with 7.15 remaining in the second period. We're half the, past the halfway mark of this game and this period. And we are still tied 1-1 here between... Um, Providence College and Northeastern. Here we go now. Face off one by the Huskies. Trying to get it out of their zone. 
Providence keeps it in for now. Huskies get a second opportunity. They'll try the near side. They do get it up and out now. Now they bring it to the offensive zone. Great stand-up hit by the blue line there. And the Huskies just dump it deep. They get it behind the net, though. Kept in again. Possession now for Northeastern. Long shot. That one goes high over the bar and off glass. Not able to get it out, though. PC struggling again. Trying to get it out of their own zone. Stolen on the back check. Now they'll try the near side boards, and they do. Clear. They dump it into the offensive zone now. Nice, soft cross-corner dump. Prince gets to it. He sends it around the net, but doesn't have any help yet off the bench. That gives Northeastern possession in their own zone, and they clear it out. Providence takes possession back at neutral ice. Over the red line, and Crozier dumps it in. Nice, Another nice, soft cross-corner dump. Tice Thompson wasn't able to get to it first, however, and Northeastern clears again. Finally, Thompson, two-on-one, chance shot, and that one gets stopped by Murphy. Hey, Noah, what's going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Appreciate it. Providence with another chance. That not able to get a shot off, though. They just go for possession in the offensive zone. Pucks in the near corner. Pass through the middle of the ice, connects with no one, but it's kept in at the point. That sh long shot goes just wide. Providence gets to it first, however. Um, I'm really excited to see Spencer Knight in goal for Team USA. And I'm really excited to see Kirby Dock cause I, uh, for t Team Canada because I think he has a chance to absolutely dominate the tournament. Um, I mean, the kid's already an NHL player and an NHL talent, and now he's going back to play World Juniors. I, I think Kirby Dot could be the tournament MVP, honestly. Hey, that is awesome, actually, THG. That is absolutely awesome. Yeah, Tice is a draft pick of the uh, New Jersey Devils. So that's, uh, that's actually really, really cool. Yeah, Spencer Knight is unbelievable. He he's gonna be a superstar goalie, I think, um, with without a doubt in the NHL one day. He is unbelievably good. But we had to commercial break here past the halfway point of the second period. It is still one one here between PC and Northeastern. Really, really uh, good game going on here between these two teams. Thank you guys all so much for watching. Really appreciate it. Remember to please subscribe if you're new and to hit that thumbs up button, guys. Those That one click just to like the video helps the stream so much. Um, helps the stream so, so much in, um, in just moving it higher in YouTube's algorithm and getting it seen by more people. So um, they, they really do mean a lot and are very, very much appreciated. Um, yeah, honestly, uh, I have no idea why Florida would sign Bobrovsky for seven years when they knew that they had Spencer Knight already drafted. Like, that just, I don't know, that did not make sense to me, but we'll see what happens. Maybe they're expecting Knight to maybe take, you know, a few years to develop and then come up. You know, maybe he doesn't leave Boston College until Bobrovsky's three years into his contract and then maybe he's Bobrovsky's backup for a couple of seasons or something like that I have no idea signing Bobrovsky for that long um with with night in your pipeline just I I don't understand but anyway we're back under action and Providence has a power play here so there must have been a penalty um there must have been a penalty right before they went to commercial break there and Providence is now on the power play, but that pass doesn't connect and goes all the way out of the zone. Easy clear there, and they'll have to go back and regroup. So man advantage opportunity here with under 4.45 left now in the second period. Parker Ford with it into the offensive zone. He gets it to Ruika. Chance there, and that deflection just doesn't get on goal. It goes behind the net into the corner. Chance again. One-time shot and a big save from Murphy. PC getting some opportunities here. Callahan keeps it in. Shot one timer from the top of the circle, and that one just goes wide glove side, trying the Pasternak spot of the ice right there, but not able to get it on goal with Thompson. Thompson with it now. Back to the point. Good pass. Now the other side circle. Short side scores. PC with the lead. <laughs>
absolute clinic of a power play right there. And Ruika gets the goal on the short side blast from the faceoff dot. He was wide open, and I feel like the goalie's got to have that. That was just short side glove hand right under the glove. I feel like the goalie's got to have that, but he's n Murphy's not able to come up with the save. Uh, and Providence College takes their first lead of the game. It's 2-1 to one with the power play goal here late in the second period. Four minutes now remaining in the second. Northeastern down by a goal. They're trying to force some offense here. They've got it back to even strength, and they've got possession in the offensive zone. Harris's pass doesn't connect. However, it just goes to the corner. Now they have to fight for possession again. Two players from each team there digging for it down in the corner. Who's going to come away with it? Back out to the point. Long shot from Harris gets blocked. Now he's going to try and bring it himself. He's drawn a penalty. Good skating in the offensive zone draws penalties, and he's just drawn a hooking call coming against PC next time they touch the puck, which will be right now. And now right after PC scores on the power play to take the lead, Northeastern is going to get a power play opportunity of their own with 326 remaining in the second. Looks like Poison is headed to the box here. No, no, it's Tugnot. Excuse me. Poison was headed to the bench. Tugnot headed to the box here for Providence as he uh, picks up a hooking call, I believe it was, against um, uh, Jordan Harris there who was coming down from the point deep into the offensive zone. And as he was coming down the boards, uh, he hooked right into his hand and slowed him up. So that's going to give Northeastern the man advantage opportunity. We'll see what they can do with it. PC wins the opening faceoff, though. They're looking for a breakout. Not able to get it. They not can't clear the zone. And now Northeastern has set, is set up with possession. Back to the blue line. Down low to the corner. Looking for a play behind the net. It doesn't connect. Northeastern still able to come away with possession, though. But pass to the middle gets stolen. And that one's cleared all the way down by the Friars. Under three minutes now to go in the second. A minute and a half remaining on the man advantage for the Huskies. Trying to tie this game up before the end of this period. They're down by a goal here to the Friars. Into the offensive zone. Here comes Northeastern. They're set up now with possession. Not able to get it cleanly to the net, though. They'll take the puck to the corner now behind the net. Back out to the blue line here. Down low again. Now back to the point. Almost turning it over. Kept in though at the blue line there. Solid penalty kill so far for the Friars, but they're only half done. Long shot in there. Stauber with a shot. Rebound chance somehow stays out. I think he fanned on the shot. Would have had an open net. Providence trying to get the puck out of the zone now. Send all the way down, and that's another clear 40 seconds left in power play time. Daniel, what is going on? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for watching. And yes, Providence has had a very good game. Both of these teams have had good games so far. This has been a quality hockey game from both sides, and PC's got the one-goal lead at least for now. Under two minutes now to go in the period. Two to one, Friars were under nine, uh, 20 seconds left on the power play. And that's another clear here for PC. Northeastern with 10 seconds left time for one more rush. Into the offensive zone, here they come. Pucks down low, looking for a passing lane in front. Back to the point here. They'll just have to play a perimeter play. Shot doesn't get through as it's blocked. We're back to five on five hockey. The penalty is over. PC has killed it off, and we are back to even strength here for the final minute 10 of the second period. Here's Greg Prince trying to muscle him off the puck, not able to. Northeastern comes away with it. Now they're into the offensive zone. Three on one, cut to the middle, and they score on the backhand. And just like that, Northeastern ties it right back up. <laughs> What a hockey game between these two. And it is now 2-2 two to two with one minute and one second remaining in the second period. And I would normally say that it looks like we're going to the third with a tie game, but with the way that the last couple minutes have gone, maybe not. Maybe someone does score in the last minute here. What a gorgeous backhand there. Jackson scores for Northeastern. 
and a gorgeous backhand just inside the far post over the glove of Stauber. And we've got a tied game now. Final 50 seconds as we're back underway. Northeastern back into the offensive zone. Puck behind the net now. PC comes away with it. Pass up and out. Neutral zone now. Into the offensive end. Here come the Friars. Trying to cut to the middle for a chance of their own. And that one stays out. Solid stop there from Murphy. Great opportunity though for the Friars. 25 seconds left in the period. Northeastern gets it out. Yeah, red rubber. I feel bad for people that can't actually see the game because this has been a heck of a hockey game so far. Hey, welcome back, Vaughn. What's going on? D to D pass there by the Friars. They dump it all the way in. No icing on the play. Goes in behind the Northeastern net. Final seconds now. And that's going to do it as the horn sounds. Two to two. End of the second period. We are going to head into the third period tied. And this, is been, this has been one hell of a hockey game so far. And I can only imagine that the third period is going to be even more intense and even better. So end of two. We're headed to the second intermission here, guys. We've got about 15 minutes to kill in the chat before the third period starts. Really, really appreciate each and every one of you watching. Thank you so much. Remember to please hit that subscribe button and like the video as well. Those thumbs up go a real long way in helping. But thank you guys all so much for being here. And uh, what a hockey game. I hope you guys will stick around if you can for the third period. It's going to be a wild third coming up between these two teams. Tie game. Great hockey at both ends of the ice. And um, two top 20 teams in the uh, in the nation, in college hockey, and they're both showing why in this one tonight. So, um, it's absolutely incredible. Um, cannot wait, cannot wait for this third period, and I really, really appreciate all of you guys watching. Trying to rest my voice a little bit here, geez. Um, I, I got, I feel like I got my voice built up to doing games every day during the playoffs, but then now that games have been like once a week or sometimes even not even once a week, I feel like I've lost it a little bit. But once the NHL comes back and I'm streaming more regularly, um, I, I hope to uh, not have the voice get tired on me. Hey, thank you, Mark. Really, really appreciate it. Really glad to have you a part of the channel here for sure. Thank you for watching. All right, so we're here, obviously, at intermission. We've got some time to kill. Uh, we're going to have a heck of a third period coming up, but we do, unfortunately, have to uh, wait for them to clean the ice and get some rest before we get to see it. Um, so we'll just, uh, anything you guys want to ask in the chat, obviously, we'll talk about. Um, and we just kind of hang out and chill in the chat for a bit while, uh, while we wait for this third to get started. And, uh, man, what a hockey game this has been. What a hockey game this has been between these two teams. Um, it's It's been a lot of fun to watch. And, and these are two, you know, top-tier D1 college hockey programs. These are both schools that send players to the NHL. So um, you certainly would, would expect them to play good hockey and, and play well against each other. But, man, this has been an exciting, fun game for sure. And, We've seen some offense. We've seen some good tight-checking defensive play. We've seen some big hits. Um, we've, we had that one real decent scrum there in the second uh, after the goaltender was poked after the whistle. So this game's really had it all that college hockey has to offer. And 
it's been it's been really really fun and i can't wait to see what this third period comes out like because you know that these two teams are going to be going for it um you know northeastern started their season two and oh but they've only played two games so far they really want to get in the groove of, of playing and and Providence College has uh, started their season one and two. They haven't had the start that they wanted. They got embarrassed by Boston College a couple weeks ago. Um, so you know they're really trying to get on on the on, uh, on the winning path this season and start to put some W's in the win column. So they're going to be coming out hard in this third period. Northeastern's going to be coming out hard in this third period. You never want to lose on home ice if you're Northeastern. These two teams play again tomorrow. Um, unfortunately, I will not be able to stream that game, but um, they play again tomorrow for the second game of this weekend series. So there's a lot riding on this third period coming up, and I think it's going to be really intense and really fun hockey to watch. see oh yeah there's there's probably still another 12 or tw 10 to 12 minutes of intermission time here guys before we get actually started with the third um let me change the the period on the scoreboard before i forget i tend to forget that if i don't do it early so we'll change that to third and make sure we're ready to go when it does come back um Man, what, what a hockey game. I'm going to go grab uh, something to drink here real quick. Um, and, then, uh, and then I'll be right back to answer any questions that you have. But uh, don't go anywhere. Type some questions up in the chat if you would like. So I, when I get back, I'm only going to be gone for like 30 seconds. Um, I'll, I'll, have something, I'll have something to talk about and, and answer those questions. So uh, don't go anywhere. I'll be right back in a few seconds just grabbing a drink and... Um, I'll answer questions when we get back. And I'm back. What's going on, guys? Just grabbed a cranberry ginger ale. Very uh, wintry drink for sure. Um, and uh, we'll be ready to go for the third here. Let's see. What do I think of the NHL Network ranking Sorokin as the 18th best prospect in the NHL? High enough or too high? Um... I think it's tough to say. See, with European players, I, I in general find difficult to rank because they can come over and be absolute superstars or they can come over and completely flop. And, like, we've seen European players do both. Um, I mean, Sorokin is an NHL-level goaltender. He's a guy who's going to come in right away and be, a, you know, a in a tandem with uh, Semyon Var Varlamov. So, um yeah, you know, I feel like it, it, I feel like 18 seems, you know, pretty I feel like maybe he could have been a little higher, but there are, I mean obviously like Lafreniere and um like Cap uh, Rossi and Kaprizov. Like there there are some real, you know, big time prospects out there that I feel like Sorokin's ceiling might not be as high as those guys, but Sorokin might be further along professionally than where those guys are at at this point. So I feel like 18's not a bad spot. Um, but again, he's going to come right in and get NHL minutes and, and play, be a starting goaltender for NHL games and, and be in a tandem with Varlamov. So um, yeah, I, I, I can't disagree with that. I wouldn't have had him you know, I probably wouldn't have had him top 10 just because of there's so much young talent in the league, but I certainly, you know, wouldn't have had him below 20. So I think 18 is a fine spot for him. 
Um, does Nashville move on from John Hines if they suck again? Yes. I think if Nashville misses the playoffs this season, um, I don't think Hines will be back. I don't know why they got John Hines in general. I've never been a big fan of John Hines as a head coach. I mean, I think he can be fine as an assistant, but I really don't like him as head coach. Um, and I think he, if they, if they, if they miss the playoffs this year, he'll be gone. Um, uh, when was the last time I had pink Whitney? Um, I'd probably say a couple weeks ago at Josh's. Uh, I haven't had it on stream or here in a while, but I've had it at my friend's house, but, uh, it, it's probably been a couple weeks since I've had some pink. Don't worry. New Year's, New Year's is going to be a big pink Whitney night for sure. Yeah, THG. And the the other thing with that is that fans, fans, of, it really doesn't matter what team you're a fan of, fans always overrate the prospects of their, their favorite team. Like Bruins fans overrate Bruins prospects. Canucks fans overrate Canucks prospects. Um, Freaking Leafs fans drastically overrate their own prospects. Um, you know, Islanders fans overrate Islanders fans, pro Islander prospects. Like every team overrates their own pro every fan overrates their own team's prospects. And, um, so if you see a list like that, you're like, Oh, why isn't, you know, this guy higher? It's like, well, let's look at things from a, from a, you know, more balanced neutral standpoint and see what these rankings should look like versus, thinking that your team has the next Sidney Crosby every time they draft a center or the next Victor Hedman every time they draft a defenseman. Like fans, fans tend to overrate their own prospects from their teams more so, you know, just it's a general thing that they do. So I'm not surprised that Islanders fans were like mad that he was at 18. They probably wanted him at like number five, even though I think that would have been ridiculous. So it's just the way it goes with fans. Hey, there you go, Mark. Nice. Yeah. Uh, always, always, always have the wit ready to go with me. I'm, uh, I, I drink that stuff quite a bit. That's definitely my favorite, my favorite, um, my favorite drink for sure. As far as like alcohols go. <clears throat> Yo, DMV. What's good, bro? Welcome to the stream, man. Thank you so much for being here. Really, really appreciate it. Hey, I'm with you. Go PC. Huge. For, I'm a huge Friars fan. Um, have been since their 2015 um, national championship run. I got to watch that team play live in the regional part of the NCAA tournament and been a huge Providence fan ever since. My sister actually goes to Providence College now. Um so she goes to PC. I went to like five or six PC games last year. And um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm rocking the PC stuff today for sure. Hey, damn, there you go, DMV. You better get her. Uh, you better get her something nice for her birthday and for Christmas. Don't don't do the don't try the whole. This is your birthday and Christmas gift. She'll get mad. She'll get mad. Don't do it. You got to get her something for her birthday and something for Christmas. All right. I'm thinking... Uh, that this third period is going to be starting here pretty soon. Hey, it's all it's all right, Vaughn. Neither do I. So don't don't worry about it, Vaughn. I don't either. Oh, there, there you go, DMV. All right, you're going to spill right here. There you go.
Oh, yeah. All right. They're showing highlights from last period now. So we're very, very close to puck drop here in the third. They're showing they're just showing the highlights from the second. All right. Oh, boy. DMV's got a funny story. We'll drop it in the chat and we'll get to it at the first commercial break, DMV. Let's see. <clears throat> All right, guys, here we go. Start of the third period. We are just about ready for puck drop. We've got a 2-2 tie game here between Northeastern and Providence College. Really, really appreciate each and every one of you guys watching. Thank you so much for being here. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button if you haven't yet. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Both of those things help out so much and are greatly appreciated. And uh, we have one heck of a hockey game going here between uh, PC and Northeastern. These two have been, you know, very, very competitive and close all game long. It's tied heading into the third here. And we have a huge, huge third period coming up. So uh, I'm expecting a great period of hockey, a lot of action. And can't wait to see who's able to come out on top here and, uh, and put, this one, uh, put this one in the win column. Teams are lined up at center ice. Puck is dropped, and we are underway. Northeastern takes the opening draw over the red line and dumped into the offensive end. Back underway here. Third period has begun. Puck's down in the corner. Back out to the point here. Northeastern keeps it in. They'll, PC will try the other side. Not able to get to that one either. Northeastern zone time so far for the first 25 seconds or so. PC looking for a breakout opportunity. That one goes off the boards, and they do get it out to neutral ice now. Friars with possession now into the offensive zone. They dump it in. They'll go hard on the forechecking, start getting fresh legs on the ice. Pass out through the neutral zone there. Northeastern clears. Possession play here by the Friars. They go back into the offensive end. Here's Greg Prince. He gets it poked off his stick. Solid defense there. Hey, what's going on, Mikhail? Welcome to the stream. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, no problem at all, man. No problem at all. I appreciate you uh, stopping in, and I fully understand people can't make every stream. And, uh, hey, I hope, your, uh, I hope your wisdom teeth extractions went well. I know that can certainly be painful at times. So I hope it went well, man, and I appreciate you stopping in as Northeastern clears this one out and dumps it into the Friars' end. Puck's down in the corner. They go hard on the forecheck. Big hit behind the net. We'll see who comes away with the puck. Providence College does. Moved out here by the Friars. Prince gets it in and just sends it into the corner. He'll head for a line change. Fresh legs on the ice now for the Friars as Northeastern exits their zone. 18-20 left in the third. Moved into the offensive end now by the Huskies. Stauber goes off glass but not able to get it out. It's kept it in the point and he has to pad this one to the corner again. Behind the net now. Moved again by... The Friars trying to clear it out. Kept in. Great play there by Jackson. But then he passes it back to no one at the point. And the Huskies will have to go back and regroup here. Great play to keep it in the zone. But then a not so good drop pass. And it ends up coming out anyway. Right back in on the forecheck though. Here's Northeastern. PC comes away with possession though. They're looking for a breakout. They get it. Dumped up and into the offensive end now. Here they come. Chance in, poked off his stick before he could get a shot off. Solid defense again here from the Huskies. Behind the net, 17 and a half minutes remaining in the third. We've still got a 2-2 tie between the Friars and Huskies here. Into the offensive end now. Here's Providence with a shot. That one gets stopped by Murphy. Blockers that one to the sidewall. Kept in by the Friars. Providence with it now, down low. Back out to the point, Michael Callahan. His shot goes off the post and out. So close to being a Providence lead again. Callahan's shot just goes off the post. Under 17 now to go in the third. P. 
PC with it now. Offensive zone. Trying to cut to the middle. Not able to get a shot off. Kept it in the blue line, though. Down low. Pucks in the corner. Now behind the net. Looking for a play out in front. A lot of perimeter play so far. PC still in the offensive zone, but not able to get the puck to the middle of the ice or any real dangerous area. Now Northeastern takes it away. Oh, big hit there, but Northeastern just gets rid of the puck in time. Takes a big hit to make the play and get the puck out. Northeastern now through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. Shot on goal. That one stop, uh, gets blocked on the way through. Second chance opportunity goes wide. Kept in the blue line, though. Far corner now. It's dumped back in. Big hit along the sidewall there as PC started to throw some weight around. Providence is always one of the more physical teams in college hockey, and this year's team looks like they can hit as well. Pucks behind the net. Out in front. Dangerous. Stauber makes a save. The puck squirted out right into the slot there for Northeastern. But Stauber comes up huge with the stop. Providence struggling to get it out of their own zone here. Pucks in the corner. Guys from both teams there going after it. Not able to clear again. Kept it in the blue line. Shot block there. Second chance opportunity. Blocker side save. Stauber's down. Thrown in on goal. He blocks that one as well. That might have been blocked on the way through. Cleared up and out. And finally all the way down there for Providence. No icing, I believe, on the play. No. Hit behind the net. They're able to finally get fresh legs on the ice. Just over five minutes into the third period. Back to the point now. Long shot. That one gets blocked in front. Good job there. Getting in the shooting lane for Northeastern. 2-2 Two -two game still. Third period action. Providence right back into the offensive zone after spending a good two minutes in their own zone. They're now starting to get back into the northeastern end. So again, we see these shifts of a lot of play at one end then a lot of play at the other. And both teams are kind of trading off uh, control of the game here. Here's another chance. Shot. Glove side gets stopped by Murphy. Northeastern's goaltender with a big save there. Stauber. Pads that one to his defenseman. No icing on the play. Into the offensive end now. Here come the Friars. Back to the northeastern zone. Around the net. Looking for a pass out in front. Doesn't have it. Just going to keep skating. Then get a long shot off. That gets deflected wide to the corner. Northeastern now. Able to clear the zone up and out. Moves now into the offensive end. Pass into the middle. Taken away there by the Friars, and they're able to clear. Now they bring it into the offensive zone. Just barely on sides, but on sides. Pucks behind the net now. Taken down there. In the offensive zone, good hit there from the Northeastern defense. And they'll try and clear as they go high up and over everybody, out back to neutral ice. Moving into the middle now. Th shot on goal. Pad save, Murphy! 13-4. 13 remaining in the third a very fast moving period here not a lot of whistles as these two teams are going at it it's tied 2-2 and uh they both know that the next goal in this game is going to be very very important northeastern now bring it into the offensive end knocked off the puck however taken back here by providence but northeastern hard on the forecheck not going to make it easy on them they're both going for it kept in the offensive zone by the huskies under 13 to go in the period Somehow, we're already almost halfway through this third period. D to D pass here. Long shot purposely wide, looking for a deflection. Pucks behind the net. Northeastern keeps possession. It worked. Back to the point now. Now to the middle of the ice. Now top of the circle. Shot from the faceoff dot. That one gets blocked. Chance again. Now on the other side, a rebound chance, and that one gets blocked as well. Providence is getting in the shooting lanes here. They get a partial line change, but only get a couple guys off. Big hit again in the defensive zone for the Friars. Friars now able to come away with the puck after that big hit, and they get it out. Greg Prince dumps it in, and now he goes hard on the forecheck. Good play there. Puck's in the corner. Back to Michael Callahan at the blue line. Callahan keeps it in, but can't get it by the Northeastern defense. He gets some help from Koopman, though. Koopman with the pass in front! And that one gets blocked on the way through. Another fantastic scoring chance.
Northeastern trying to get it out of their zone. Providence keeps it in for now. Prince, great job on the four check. Yet again, pass into the middle. Just doesn't connect with Thompson, though. And that's going to clear itself for the Huskies. Thrown right back in, however. 11.20 now left in the third. Northeastern trying to again to break out. They get it out, but only to neutralize. Now they bring it into the offensive zone. Trying to cut to the middle. Long shot there. That one gets blocked on the way through. Never reached the goaltender. Pucks down in the corner. Long shot there. That one just squeaks wide. I don't know what this run of continuous play has been time-wise, but I feel like we haven't had a whistle yet this period. It's like there, there maybe have been two whistles this period. It just constant game flow here. It's absolutely tremendous action at both ends of the ice. There's another shot here gets blocked. That one behind the PC net now, played by the defenseman. Looking for a breakout play. He's going to come up through the middle of the ice. Easily get over the red line and dump it in. Throws it right in on Murphy, but he just gloves it down and leaves it for his defenseman. Dumped back in here by the Huskies. Stauber leaves it behind his net. Defenseman plays it. They're PC now looking for a breakout. Pucks in the corner. They're able to clear it and neutralize. Now it's dumped into the offensive zone. Friars go in on the attack. Hard four check. They keep possession. Pass out in front. Taken away by the new, uh, Northeastern defense. Kept in the zone, though, by the uh, Friars. Still in the Northeastern end. Off glass. Not able to get it out. Second opportunity. For, uh, the Huskies do finally get it out, and now they come into the offensive zone. Prince right back on the ice now. Providence is really focused on playing their top two lines in this third period. Have not seen a lot of the depth, guys. They've played the one, first two lines kind of on, on a cycle here of just 1-2, one, 1-2. Two, one, two. Um, third line's getting in a little bit. Fourth line, guys, haven't really, uh, haven't really been on the ice in this third. Northeastern's able to clear that there back to neutral ice but not with clean possession. Michael Callahan plays it now for Providence. Parker Ford with it. He's at the red line. He takes a hit to dump it into the offensive zone. Prince makes sure it gets in. Now Ford has it again. High slot. He makes a possession play to the defenseman. Long th throw in there. That one gets knocked down by Northeastern, and now they're able to clear again. Sutton, what is going on, man? Welcome to the stream. We're under nine minutes now to go. Is That one deflects up and out of play. We get a little push after the whistle there, but it breaks up very, very quickly. 8.52 left in the third period. I feel like we haven't had a whistle in 10 minutes, but uh, we've got 8.52 left in the third. Still 2-2 here at Matthews Arena in Boston, Massachusetts, Northeastern's home rink. And, man, what a game we have had and what a ending we have coming up between these two teams. So we're finally able to get, catch a commercial break here want to thank you guys all so much for being here and watching. Really, really appreciate it. Please remember to hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you are new. Both of those things help out so much and are greatly appreciated. DMV dropped a story in the chat like 20 minutes ago. Finally have some time to get to it here. He says, two days ago he was on FaceTime with his girlfriend and they were doing a push-up contest. And every time that he failed, she called him soft like a blanket. And calling her not ro uh, muscular, she roasted him very good. Well, damn, DMV. I guess your girlfriend's stronger than you. And she's also roasting you on a regular basis, apparently. So, um, that's pretty funny, man. But, man, what a third period we have going on here. This is a game that you guys, oh man, for, for those of you that have Nesson, I hope you are watching this. For those of you that do not, I, I really wish you did because this has been one heck of a hockey game. We're at 2-2 here, second half of the third period. We're under nine minutes to go, and uh, th this has just been absolutely fantastic college hockey between Providence and Northeastern today. Offensive zone draw for the Huskies here as we get back to action. Face off one back defensively though by PC. They go off glass and out through the red over the red line now. 
Hey, Mark, thank you so much for watching. Really glad to have you here, and I'm glad you're enjoying the stream. 8.35 left in the third. Over the red line now. Here comes Northeastern into the offensive zone. Oh, what a hit! Northeastern four gets absolutely steamrolled as he brought the puck into the slot there. PC comes away with it, and they clear the zone. That was the biggest hit of the game so far. And then Northeastern answers as their defenseman absolutely creams the PC forward entering the zone. And these two teams play tomorrow. Shot here for Northeastern. Stauber makes the save and covers it up. And we get a stoppage here with 8.02 left. Oh, man, these two teams can score and these two teams can hit. Back-to-back -back huge hits at both ends of the ice. Each team getting in a big lick on the other. And those were probably the two best hits of this game, even though this whole game's been pretty physical. But, uh, man, those were the two best hits of this game. Behind the net now, PC out of their zone. Over the red line, Greg Prince brings it into the offensive zone, and they were offside. That gets whistled down. We'll have a neutral zone faceoff coming right up. So after what felt like an eternity of nonstop play, in the first half of this third period, all of a sudden, play's getting a little choppy here. Oh, man, THG, that sucks. You can't watch any of them on TV. That's terrible, man. I feel bad. That's that's brutal. Yeah, Nesson does a pretty darn good job of covering Hockey East in New England. Obviously, it's easier for them now that the Bruins aren't playing because the NHL hasn't started yet, but... Even when the NHL is playing, they, Nesson does a pretty good job of, of uh, showing college games when they can. If Boston doesn't have a game on Friday or Saturday, um, Nesson usually shows college games one of those days. Pucks down in the corner here. PC in the offensive zone. Northeastern trying to take it away. They get it out. Down to 720 left in the third period. PC fires that puck off the boards. Northeastern takes it right back. Trip down in the neutral zone. No penalty on the play. Wow, I thought they were going to catch Parker Ford for a tripping call there. But the refs keep their arms down. They're going to let the boys play today. They're going to let them play it out themselves without getting involved unless they absolutely have to, which is absolutely the right way to take it in a third period of a tie game. Puck's down behind the net. D to D pass here for PC. They're looking to break out. They do. Into the offensive end now. Puck goes behind Murphy in the northeastern zone. Puck's in the corner. Pass in the middle. Oh, what a chance. And it gets blocked wide. Murphy must have got a blocker on that. Or he just straight up fanned on the shot. But PC with a golden opportunity from the slot. And they can't put it home. Behind the net now. Still in the offensive zone of the Friars. Coming away, comes away with it, though. Northeastern over the red line, dumped into the offensive end. Stauber out to play it behind his net, and he does. Eddie, there's no fighting in college hockey. It doesn't exist. There, there, there's never fights in college hockey. Big hit there in the neutral zone. PC stepping up the physicality. Northeastern certainly can answer, though, as we saw with that earlier hit. PC trying for a clean breakout. They got over, over the red line. No, stolen away there by Northeastern. Northeastern now trying to put on some pressure in the offensive end. PC, though, able to come away with it. They break out of their zone finally. Dumped into the offensive end now. They have no legs left. They got to go get fresh guys on. Line change for the Friars. That gives Northeastern an easy move, uh, move out of the zone, and they just dump it back into the PCN. Under five minutes now to go in the third period, and we are still tied at two. No scoring here in the third so far. Pass into the middle. Now back to the point. Northeastern can't keep it in. They'll have to regroup. 
Uh, I'm going to say Chiefs, Sutton. I'm going to go with the Chiefs in that one. That one's cleared all the way down, but that will be icing. So that is icing against the Friars here with 431 left in the third. And 2-2 game. That's going to be an offensive zone faceoff coming up for the Huskies. And they're going to be looking to take a lead in this one. We'll see what happens here. We are in crunch time now. Under five minutes to go in a tied game here between Providence and Northeastern. Hockey East action this afternoon. This has been one heck of a hockey game. I feel like we're building up to a spectacular ending here. Northeastern setting up in the offensive zone after the faceoff win. Pucks back at the point. Not able to keep it in. A bad drop pass there. And now they have to clear and regroup once again. They just throw it in. Stauber not able to leave it behind the net, though. That ends up being a good dump in for the Huskies. PC trying to get an exit here. Kept in at the blue line. Stolen, though, by the Friars. Here they come up ice. Three on three. Into the offensive zone. Good defensive play there by the Huskies. And they're able to stymie that rather quickly. PC keeps it in, though. Another chance. Short side, and Murphy holds the post. Behind the net. Friars with it. Now in the corner. Northeastern looking for a breakout play. Two guys from each team going in there. Hard after the puck. Final minutes now. 3.33 left in the third. Northeastern clears that one all the way down. And it is no icing on the play as Stauber has to play it. It was on goal. They go off boards here. Up and out. Cleared all the way down. Now Murphy comes out to play it behind the Northeastern net. Pucks in the corner and Northeastern clears back to neutral ice. Move to the middle now. PC comes right back into the zone. They go off boards. Prince with it on the forecheck now. Down low in the corner. Not able to cleanly get a pass to a teammate, and Northeastern clears. Northeastern after it now. Around the net in the offensive end. Chance! And they score! Breaking his stick on the play is Solo. And with under three minutes left, Northeastern takes a 3-2 lead. <laughs> Providence's defense gets walked around. And everyone thought he was going around the net. As he was going behind it, he just throws it out in front. And Solo, all alone, no back check to be seen anywhere in the camera shot. All alone from the slot, rips it top shelf, breaks his stick in the process, but it doesn't matter. The puck goes in the net. And Northeastern has a 3-2 lead, and now they're going to have to try and hold it as PC is desperate for a goal to try and get this thing tied back up. What a defensive zone lapse there for the Friars. Absolutely no back check, no one covering the back post, and the sneaky pass from behind the net finds Salo all alone in front, and he just blasted it home. Northeastern with it now. 2.20 left in the third. An insurance goal would pretty much end it. Stauber makes a big save there. Northeastern's got possession. Now PC takes it away. They got to try and get it up ice here. Onside play into the offensive zone. Friars with it. No reinforcements yet, though. That's going to give Northeastern a chance to get back defensively, and they do. Now making things difficult for Providence as we're down to two minutes left in the third. That one goes off glass and cleared out by Northeastern. No icing as it won't reach all the way down. Northeastern happy just to kill clock here. Pushed off the puck there was Crozier. And he lands on it. And now they're going to blow the whistle. As Crozier was just lazing, lay, laying on the puck there. After taking a pretty big hit from the Northeastern forward. And now eventually they just blow it dead. 141 left in the third. Um, yeah, Red Rubber, probably sometime soon. I haven't, I couldn't, I mean, I haven't played Among Us in general um, in probably a week and a half or two weeks, but um, I haven't put any put anything in the chat in a while either, obviously on the Discord, but maybe uh, in the next couple days I'll get a chance to play, play for a few minutes, at least a couple games.
So this is an offensive zone faceoff now for the Huskies with a 3-2 lead. Trying to hang on to it here late in the third period. 141 to go. Providence desperately needs a goal to tie this thing up. Shot there from Northeastern. That one goes wide. Into the offensive end now. PC. And that shot gets deflected up and out of play. We have a whistle with 131 left. And it's going to be a faceoff now in the northeastern end. So PC with a chance at an offensive zone draw here. And they desperately, desperately need a goal. Down to the final minute and a half. They've got to tie this thing up. Or they're going to be going home taking a big fat L in this one. In a game where they've played well. Both of these teams have played well in this game. Obviously, somebody's got to win it, um, but certainly it's not like either team deserved to lose, but somebody's going to win and somebody's going to lose, most likely. College hockey does have ties, but most likely someone's going to win and someone's going to lose, and um, PC, if they don't want to be that loser, is going to have to score in the next minute and a half here. Uh, THG, it's just a game that you can it's a multiplayer game that you can play on your phone or on your P, on your like computer and um you basi basically there's a bunch of people with a bunch of tasks that have to get done but you know one or two however many however you set the game up of the people are actually imposters they're murderers going around trying to kill the rest of the people who are not imposters so um it's just, I don't know how it got so popular, but it's gotten really, really popular over the last few months. And, like, everyone plays it now. And basically, if you're an imposter, your your job is to try and kill everybody um, before they find out that you're the imposter. And if you're a crewmate, your job is to complete all the tasks before getting killed by the imposters. Hey, Matt, what is going on? Welcome to the stream, man. Thanks so much for stopping in. PC with a long shot there on the uh, shot from the point. We're down to a minute 20 left in the third period as that one goes up and out of play. We get another whistle here with 122 left in the third. 122 left in the third. Empty net for Providence here. They desperately need a goal in this final minute and a half. Desperately looking for the for the game tying goal here to force overtime. One back here by Providence. They're set up with possession now in the offensive zone. Shot in. Murphy makes a save. Rebound chance, and they score. They score. PC scores. It's three three with one fourteen left. <laughs> What a hockey game this has been. Unbelievable. PC just ties it up with the extra attacker out there. Only a minute 14 left in the game, and that puck goes off of Greg Prince and into the net. And now we are tied again with a minute left. Northeastern back in the PC zone. They're dangerous offensively. PC, though, comes away with it into the offensive end. Here come the Friars, and that one gets taken off his stick, but not able to clear. PC still with it. Parker Ford with a shot. That one gets blocked by the Northeastern defender. He's down, just getting back to his feet on one leg. That shot block definitely hurt. Callahan somehow keeps that in the offensive zone, at least for a little bit, but not able to as eventually Northeastern clears. 30 seconds left now. PC dumps it into the offensive zone right as right while taking a big hit. Northeastern behind their net now, trying not to turn it over. Northeastern clears to the red line. Sent right back in by the Friars, though. Murphy lets that one go by him. Huskies to it first. Here's a chance. One final shot, and that one gets poked away right at the last second. Great defense there from Northeastern. Behind the net now, puck just along the end wall. And now we've got a little pushing and shoving here as this period comes to an end. And that is the end of the third. We are headed to overtime. We are headed to overtime as PC somehow ties this thing up 
with a minute 14 left. And we're going to OT, baby. Now, there is not a full intermission between overtime in college, not like the NHL playoffs. So we are going, I believe there's a two-minute stoppage, a commercial break, and then we are going right into OT here, guys. So it is a 3-3 game, and we are going right into OT. This is going to be a wild finish. We'll see. We'll see if a um, we'll see if a team can score here, or if this does finish as a tie. College hockey games in the regular season do finish as ties, um, which I I don't like. I think games should always end with someone winning. Um, but. We'll see what happens here in the OT period. This has been an absolutely wild game. Yeah, it's 3-3. PC just tied it up with a minute 14 left. This has been a phenomenal hockey game here between these two teams. I really wish I could. there were fans in the stands and people could actually be at this game because what a game. Just college hockey is absolute best here with these two. Absolutely incredible. Uh, yes, Vaughn. Uh, the Sharks will, will start the season and have training camp in Arizona because California um, or their county in California is not allowing pro sports teams to play. So anyway, here we are, three on three overtime, five minutes, I believe, in college. We are underway. PC wins it back. Michael Callahan with a puck. It is a five minute, three on three overtime. If no one scores, I do believe the game ends in a tie in college. If no one scores, but uh, let's see if we can get a uh, get a winner here before the five minutes is up. Shot there, short side, stopped there by Murphy, and we got a stoppage. Just a few seconds in, 4:37 left in the OT period. Oh wow, that is absolutely awesome! So you went to a game and the team you were cheering for scored in overtime with three seconds left. That is absolutely incredible. What a game that must have been to be at. Face off one again here. Back by Providence. They have the puck in the offensive zone. It rolls off their stick, though, and back out to neutralize. They'll have to regroup. Three on three hockey. First time seeing this since the NHL regular season last year for me. So it's weird, it's weird to see three on three. And don't forget, one mistake in three on three, and it's a breakaway going the other way. So it's very wide open as... PC gets back there. Wow. Makes a strong defensive play. Jordan Harris with the drop pass. Northeastern setting up in the offensive zone now. They're looking to try and finish this and take home the win. PC trying to finish off the comeback. They'll just take it back to center ice here. Northeastern now back into the offensive zone. Shot. Stauber makes the save on that one. Pucks in the corner. Providence clears it. Break away, Providence! And Murphy makes the save! What a stop! What a stop there from Connor Murphy. Providence had the breakaway, but the Prince wasn't able to put it home. Unbelievable save. Tried to go forehand, backhand, and just couldn't get it high enough over the glove. And Murphy's glove gets it, and he covers it up. Face off here, one though by the Friars. Trying to get a pass through the middle. Chance there! Far side, and not able to cleanly get it through. PC still with it in the offensive zone. 325 left in OT. Long shot from the point. Deflects just wide. Northeastern's going to come away, away with possession here. 
around their own net, and now they're able to exit. Through neutral ice, here they come. Now into the offensive end. Northeastern back to neutralize, just regrouping. Three minutes remaining in the overtime period. Down low behind the net now. PC trying to poke it away. They do. Up the boards. Here they come out of the zone. Providence College with it. Now they're going to turn back and regroup in their own end as they get a um, front, uh, line change here. At least two out of the three guys. Now the third guy will go for the change as they get fresh legs on the ice. Up into the offensive end now. Here come the Friars trying to get it to the net. Chance in front there, and nice stop by Murphy. Another opportunity. Pass into the middle. Stolen. Stolen right back, though. And then Northeastern's able to poke it away and get it out of the zone. 2.23 now remaining in OT. Nobody's scored yet, but here comes Northeastern. Into the slot area. Shot. Stauber with the glove save. Big stop there from Stauber. 2.16 left. We got an offensive zone faceoff for Northeastern coming right up. What a game. What an overtime period here. Chances at both ends. And the goalies are holding strong so far. Northeastern wins that one back. PC takes it, though. Right off the draw. Now they come into the offensive end. Pass to the middle. Deflected in. And another stop by Murphy. And he covers it up. What an opportunity again. This is high quality action here. Both ends of the ice between Providence and Northeastern. 3-3 three, three, overtime. 3-on-3 three three, trying to come away with a winner here. Providence with it now. Trying to get to the middle. Chance again. That one just go deflects wide. It's Prince with it. Under two minutes now to go. Crozier now back at the point. Stolen off his stick though. Here comes Northeastern. They get a breakaway of their own. Saved by Stauber with the pad. PC comes right off glass and out. Take it right back though. Two on one for the Huskies. Cross ice pass. Stauber stones him again. Unbelievable goaltending. And now here comes PC. Two on two. Shot. Glove side. That one gets stopped by Murphy. PC getting some fresh legs on the ice. No defense in three on three. It is just scoring chance after scoring chance. And the goaltenders at both ends have somehow kept out all of these quality chances. Northeastern brings it in one more time. Shot gets deflected to the corner. Back to the blue line. Northeastern keeps possession. 50 seconds left in overtime. Trying to cut to the middle. Jackson, he just curls back. Taken again. Northeastern still set up in the offensive zone with possession. PC just trying to not let them get to the middle. High slot now. Turn around. Looking for a play. Going to try a drop pass here at the point now. Long shot deflect on the way through. It goes to the corner. 22 seconds left now. Northeastern trying to cut to the middle. Stolen. Here comes Providence with a chance. Tice Thompson up ice. Into the offensive zone. Does he have enough help? Chance from the slot. Shot. Save on the way through. That might have been blocked before it ever got to Murphy. I'm not sure. But either way, it stays out of the net. And that is going to do it. Huge chances at both ends of the ice, but the horn sounds. And let's see, are we going to get a shootout here? I think we're going to get a shootout here. I'm not entirely... Yeah, we're, the team, we're definitely going to get a shootout here, but I'm not sure how it works as far as the standings go. I think this goes down as a tie for both teams in the standings, but then they do a shootout just to see. Just to see, like, someone get the win. I'm not, because I think, because college, let's see. Hockey East.
Yeah, there's going to be a shootout here. Let's see. Big, uh, NCAA has made notable o changes to the overtime format. Um, college hockey games tied after regulation will go to a five-minute three-on-three overtime, which we just had. And if neither team scores in overtime, the game will officially end in a tie. But I think different conferences can have shootouts, which will then affect the conference standings. So this is going to go to a shootout. So they're just uh, cleaning up the uh, goalie creases a little bit here, and then we're going to have a shootout. So I think the shootout counts for conference points, but the game in standings-wise probably counts as a tie. All right, Northeastern is going to shoot first. Coming in far to the right. Forehand in front. Shot saved by Stauber. We got no goal on the first shot attempt for Northeastern. A really nice save there by Stauber. Uh, just not able to outweigh, outweigh the goaltender there. All right, here we come now. Providence going to shoot. Tice Thompson, first shooter. He goes backhand, forehand, and Murphy makes the save. Thompson can't score there. Murphy makes a big stop. All right, second shooter for each team now. Northeastern. And they score! What a shot! Blocker side right inside the near post. McDonough puts it home for the Huskies. And that's going to give Northeastern the early advantage here in the shootout as McDonough rips that shot. Blocker side on Stauber and puts it just inside the post. All right, Providence has a chance to answer here. Parker Ford coming up ice, goes far right, cuts to the middle. And no goal, it almost trickled in, but Murphy is able to dive across and get throw it out of the crease before it trickles in. What a, That was a good move there from Ford. He just couldn't get it by him. And now Northeastern has a chance, I believe, to end it. A goal here would put them up by two. Coming into the middle, and Stauber saves the day with a big glove stop. And it's still only a one-goal advantage in the shootout here for Northeastern. Salau got stopped there by Stauber's glove. And now it's a must-score opportunity here for the Friars. Coming in from the left. Trying to cut back. And he puts it off the outside of the net. He had the goalie beat, but he put it off the outside of the net. And Northeastern wins the shootout 1-0. And that is going to give them a 4-3 shootout win over Providence. And that sets up a heck of a matchup between these two teams tomorrow when they will play again, this time down in Providence. But what a hockey game here today. The absolute best that college hockey has to offer incredible matchup between these two teams um what a game goes all the way to the shootout and uh nothing to be ashamed of if you're a fan of either of these teams what a hockey game here um just absolutely incredible so northeastern wins it in a shootout four to three um and that's gonna mean another matchup between these two tomorrow afternoon for the second game of the uh of this weekend series but that's gonna do it for this one guys thank you so much all for watching really really appreciate it thank you to each and every one of you who were here please don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you are new both of those things help out so so much um 
Really, really appreciate it from all of you. And with that, that's pretty much going to do it um, for today's stream. Not sure when I'll get a chance to stream again, guys, but I'll certainly let you know via the community tab when I do. I would like to maybe get one more stream in before Christmas. Um, we'll see if that happens or not. It won't be a game stream. It would probably just be like a hangout chat for a little while. Um, but anyway... If I don't see you before Christmas, have a great Christmas. If you celebrate a different holiday, have a tremendous holiday, whatever it is. Um, have a great day, guys. Have a great rest of your day. Have a great weekend. And hopefully I'll be talking to you guys very, very soon. And um, with that, I'm uh, going to sign off for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video so much. Uh, I really enjoyed doing this game with all of you. This was a tremendous hockey game between these two teams. And, um, man, just college hockey, it's absolute best right there. So with that, like, sh subscribe, uh, have a great weekend. I'll be talking to you all hopefully very, very soon, and uh, see you next time.